Greetings, Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope. So, you know, this whole Venus from Cancer to Leo thing. Um, there's this desire in Cancer to nurture, and there's this desire in Leo to want to be no noticed. And so, I mean, I would think like Venus and Leo is about, you know, wear bright colored clothes. You know, celebrate the summer and uh, make things a little bit prettier, you know. Um, this is more in your inner world. Now, Sun and Cancer, you know, that's your third house, Taurus. So that's about writing, journalism, working with your hands. Um, it could be poetry. It's siblings. If you have siblings, it might be friends that you grew up with, elementary school through undergrad. Um, I sort of have a different way of looking at the houses. I kind of, compared to a lot of people, I, I look at them as like, you're, you know... House 1, 0 to 7. House 2, 7 to 14. House 3, 14 to um, 21. Um, you know, and then house 4, 21 to 28, etc. Adding 7 years to every house. You know, by the time you're at the end of the 12th house, you make it to 84. You're good, you know. Anything else after that's like a blessing. You know? and, and so, um, we are... Uh, we're looking at this Uranus effect, so that a lot of things are just kind of unpredictable or surprising, like the weather and um, so much flip-flopping of, of extremes. <clears throat> and, you know, we're coming down from a full moon. And so that's definitely something to consider right now. Um, but the good news is Mercury is direct, so we, we can be grateful for that. And um, so it's it's moving along here in, in Gemini time. All right. I'm speaking of Gemini, uh, 